Hello, and welcome to another Camtasia Quick Tip. I'm Rob Moore. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a progress bar for your video. But before I do that, if you're interested in learning about the different ways you can earn an income with Camtasia, stop by my live stream this Thursday morning at 9 a.m. Eastern. I live stream every Thursday morning for about an hour where I do live Camtasia tutorials and answer any questions you might have. This week though, I'm gonna discuss all the different ways you can earn an income with Camtasia as your video editing software. So come with your questions ready. The live chat will be open for about one hour before the live stream begins, so you'll be able to post any questions ahead of time. Again, it'll be this Thursday morning, March 24th at 9 a.m. Eastern. I hope to see you then. Okay, now let me show you how to create a progress bar. I've already got a video loaded into Camtasia, and as you can see here, I have a music track, an audio track, a video screen capture track, and then a couple of highlights on this top track. First thing we want to do is go up to annotations, click on the shape icon, select all, and you want to select this rectangle. Any rectangle will do, but you want to make sure the rectangle you choose has squared off corners and not the rounded corners. I know this one has squared off corners. Drag this down to your canvas. It'll also appear in your timeline. Now you want to adjust this on the timeline so it stretches across the entire video so that the progress bar will display across the entire video. Next thing to do is to adjust the thickness of the progress bar and also make sure that it stretches across the entire width of the canvas. Right now we're going to set our ending position for the progress bar before doing the beginning position. If you want to make it even thinner than this will allow, what you'll have to do is zoom in. I'm using the scroll wheel on my mouse and then you can adjust it even thinner if you want. Let's go back to the full screen. I think that's a good thickness. Next thing to do is to come up here to your annotation properties window and change the color. So let's click here. For this one, I'm gonna go with a red color, just like that. Now, if you want, you can either have the progress bar at the top of the video or at the bottom or anywhere in between really, but I usually like to put them at the bottom. The next thing you need to do is to drag an animation onto the shape in the timeline. So let's come up here, click on Animations, Animations tab, and let's drag the custom animation down to the shape. Let's zoom in a little bit on the shape. Okay, our ending position is already set for this progress bar. So what we wanna do is highlight the beginning of the animation and then move the progress bar to its beginning location. And in this case, I want it to start right here off the canvas. And now we wanna stretch this animation across the entire length of the shape in the timeline. So now what we have, let's click spacebar to start the playhead. You can see the progress bar here, but there's a problem with it. And the problem has to do with easing. By default, animations are set to ease in and then ease out, which means the speed at which the animation occurs at the beginning is slower and then faster in the middle and slower at the end. For a proper progress bar, we don't want this. We want this to be linear all the way through. So the way you change that is you have to come down here, right click anywhere on the animation, click on enable easing, and then see how it's checked as audio right now. We wanna change that to linear. Okay, now if we move this playhead back to the beginning and press spacebar to play, we can see that the animation of the progress bar is linear. And if you wanna see the progress all the way across, you can simply just drag the playhead to make sure that it occurs when you want it to occur. One final thing, if you don't want the progress bar to occur during the intro or the ending of the video, what you can do is put the playhead at the end of the intro, and then what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to drag the beginning of the animation to the beginning of the part where you want it to start animating. And then you wanna do the same thing at the end. If you want the animation to stop, or if you want the progress bar to stop before the outro begins, place the playhead right here and then drag the ending of the animation right there. So now let's look at the beginning. The playhead starts right there when the video starts. And then at the very end, Child the progress bar will reach the end the before CRM. the outro. 
And that's how you add a progress bar to your videos in Camtasia. Remember to stop by this Thursday morning at 9 a.m. Eastern for my weekly live stream, where this week's discussion will focus on all the ways you can earn an income using Camtasia. Also, if you want to see more content like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon to turn notifications on, and click the like button. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time.